broke, man. Go fund me. Fund me so that I can go. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to 254 Celebrity Channel. If you're new here, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support. And without further ado, let's get right into the tea. So if you were mostly online yesterday, you will know about Daniel Adongo, who was trending for the better part of yesterday online. So this man made history for us as Kenyans because he was the first Kenyan to play in America's Football League, also known as the NFL. So before he became a big American football player, he used to be a rugby player for some team in South Africa and then some American team spotted him and they liked the way he played so they poached him for a sum of 216 million Kenya shillings. Yo, he was really out here living the life back then. To 16 million Kenya shillings, this guy in a month was making more than the president in Kenya. Hey. Anyway, things started going downhill for him in 2015 after a certain woman who was said to be in a relationship with him reported him to the police for domestic abuse. Now, America is so different from Kenya because come on, up a Kenya and a celebrity or a leader is exposed for domestic abuse, nothing is going to happen. It a two story for a couple of days and then things will go back to normal. The positions of work won't be affected, trust me. Kuni tu meona wangapi. Hadi wale wakushutiana na bado wako kazi. Hey. But I'm telling you, once police started investigating Daniel Adongo for domestic violence, his team dropped him like a hot potato. Just like that, in a snap. Now, it was said that somewhere along the line, he got into drugs, became an addict, he even joined a weird cult, and just a bunch of some crazy stuff. I even saw some screenshots of him, like, abusing his mother on text. Eh, I think he was having a breakdown or something. Anyway, the situation became even worse for him after he went completely broke and even became homeless. No one knew about his condition until yesterday when videos of him in that poor state surfaced online. And that was after a blogger by the name Robert Alai shared them on Twitter and netizens have realized that Simple Boy was right when he said, to watch me hadarati, please. Because <laughs> I think if this guy never got into drugs, he'd still be well off even after getting fired. Because doing drugs is really expensive, bro. I'm going to be packing my stuff now. He doesn't want to answer my questions. So I apologize for any intrusion, sir. And friends, there's no legal issue, but they want to escort me out. They've been, I've been allowed by the manager who doesn't want to come up again and discuss the. He said over the phone he wants to discuss the payment issue. But he doesn't want to do that now, so I felt loud. Now, honestly, I'm just waiting for, for them to reimburse the money that they put, that I paid for in advance, many months in advance of this hotel. So they said they're going to put it back on the card, and when they do, I can, I can leave. So I'm broke, man. Go fund me. Fund me so that I can go. <laughs> Anyway, after that video of Daniel Adongo looking miserable went viral, one of the blogs in Kenya called Tuko reached out to his family and they talked to his sister-in-law who goes by the name Roxy and she completely denied that the person in the video was her brother-in-law Daniel. So she claimed that the person in the video was an imposter whose sole purpose was to tarnish Daniel's image for no reason. She also went ahead to claim this and I quote, Daniel is in a sports rehab, but I'm not going to disclose which one. We as the family are hurt by this imposter. I'm just wondering if the person in the video was not Daniel, then who was it and why did they look so much like Daniel? Honestly, I just think that the family is in denial because Daniel has not been in the limelight for quite some time. So I don't see how someone would pretend to be him so that he could tarnish his name. Also, in the leaked text between him and his mother, I also noticed that she was in complete denial because Daniel was busy sending insults to her and she was just like, no, this is a hacker. My Daniel is such a good boy. But you know what? This whole situation is, of course, very painful for them as his family. So I get why they would be in denial. Hopefully, they get to accept the situation as it is and try their best to help him get in a better place because that's what family is for. Your family is meant to stand by you even when you're at the lowest point even when you're not yourself like Daniel right now. All right, guys, that's all for now. That's such a crazy and sad, sad story. Hopefully, Daniel gets back on his feet. But until then, let's pray for him. And guys, let's just stay away from drugs. Vijana, to watch him. Anyway, guys, that's all for now. Comment your thoughts, like this video, and for more updates, subscribe. And until next time, bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back.